Hello and welcome to the Daily Sports Zone on your first choice for sport with me, Yvonne Mangunda. It's a special edition of the show as we've got a special guest in the house. Hard Life Jirepi. Hardy, how are you doing? I'm fine, thanks. <laughs> so Hardy made headlines in the past week as reports said that he parted ways with Caps United. Are the social media reports true? Is he a happy man? How has Caps treated him? How has been his stay with Caps United? Some of the questions that we'll be discussing on the show. The Daily Sports Zone. Let's call it the Hardy Tells All. So definitely your first choice for sport and we also love to ensure that uh, we give you the true story because a lot of stuff uh, will circulate and today we decided why not bring the man in the studio so we can hear the true story. So uh, looking at Hard Life Jirekwi, started his uh, a PSL career with Gunners and won the Premier Soccer League in 2009 as Gunners finished five points clear of Dynamos. He then left to meet season 2012 to join Caps United and signed a three-year deal. In 2014, he was a part of uh, the African Nations Championship China team under Ian Goroa and he helped the team to a fourth place finish and went uh, on to play other games, either in National Colors, Caps United, won the league title with Caps United in 2016, was part of Caps United when they went to the uh, CAFA Champions League, going all the way to the group stages. Hadi, before we go any further, how's been the last week for you? Yeah, it's, it's, been, it's been hard, it's been tough. Uh, it hasn't been a good week for me, to, to be honest. Uh, it, was, it was really, really tough and, and, and an emotional week for me. And I remember the last time we were, uh, the last time we met, we were at Ronald Fumbiza's wedding and we were just talking about, you know, the sport and everything. And then, did you know, did you have an idea that probably your time at Caps United would be cut? Had you prepared yourself for that? Yeah, by that time I, I didn't know anything. Uh, it, it, it was a surprise to me. Uh, and how, how was this surprise delivered? Is it true that it was on a WhatsApp group with other people on the group? Yeah, it was on a WhatsApp group. Uh, our Caps United Players WhatsApp group that comprises of all the players and uh, the team manager as well is also there. So just a disclaimer, Hadi has a really bad flu. <laughs> the job money is out. You have to come. We've already advertised that you're coming. Um, for those that might be asking, Kuti, every time we did you break her a bit. But, but Hadi, how does it get to that? How, how have you had any answers after that as to why a decision like that would be delivered in such a way? No, I... I honestly have no clue whatsoever that uh, they, they had to do what they had to do in such a manner. Sakaya itichi, message itichi. Yeah, it, it, it circulated on, on social media as, as, as it is. Uh, it was about uh, the players that had contracts which had expired on the 31st of December. 2019 and they they were saying that they are not going to renew any contract that I, has expired are you at liberty to say who it was was it the leadership do you want to say names or you just want to say it was delivered i don't even know but uh it, it was just delivered that's all i can <laughs> say <laughs> and i mean what happened after that? Like, I can, I can imagine being told, Guti, especially at a club that you've stayed for so long with and been through difficult journeys, difficult times. Like, what happened after that? What did you do? How did you cope with it? And then when it goes online as well, it's like now you're also dealing with a whole big community knowing about your heartbreak. Yeah, it was, it was sad. It was tough. But, uh, I, I had to, to accept it because that was now the reality on the ground. So I, I had to, though it wasn't easy, it wasn't an easy thing for me, but uh, I had to, 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 to try and 
and accept. By accepting, I think it will help me now to, to, to now see what I can do from here. And do you think having gone through the accident and the amputation and going through such a difficult time in your life, it's equipped you to deal with situations like this because you've obviously gone through worse? Yeah, that's 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 very really true. Uh, I've I've gone through worse situations in in my playing career. You know, at one point I was stranded in an airport without any documentation. <laughs> Nairobi. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you know, so I've been in in, in situations that have uh, kind of made me strong and. Uh, try to find solutions. I try to adapt and adjust and make and find my way out of that. Um, so what next? What next? What are you thinking? Do you still want to play? Are you done? What is the next? Because the other question would be, obviously Caps United stood with you when the accident happened and all that. Had you thought of options? Or were you just thinking, Jada Mandiru Caps? Truly speaking, Caps United as well was a home to me. It was home for me. You know, when, when, when you're at home, you, you just know, you just feel at home. And uh, they, they, they did a lot of things in my career. For me to be who I am and what I am today, it was because of Caps United. And I'm so very, very grateful for that. And... Uh, yeah, now I'm, 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 I'm considering a lot of things and uh, I'm still, I still want to, to, to make, I'm still to make a decision on, on, on my next move. Um, are you angry? No, I'm not angry. I'm actually, I'm, I'm, I'm actually grateful for, for, for serving the club that have raised me from, from a nobody to somebody, people didn't know had lives in Equi, but Caps United gave me a, a, a bigger and better platform for for my career to to go to the next level. So, yeah, it's 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 part of part of football that at one point, though I didn't think this was the point. Do you? Do you regret moments in your life where you could have made a different decision? Because I know there was a time, Yekuti, things were really happening. You were like the go-to player at Caps United and things were going down, trying Piri Achibo and he had to beg you, ask you to stay at the club and you made a decision to stay. When things like this happen, do you look back and think, maybe the end of the move and the end of the or maybe I wish I'd done this differently? I don't have regrets whatsoever because uh, all those decisions that I made to stay put at Caps United, it was a club and a team that was in, in my heart. And uh, it was like I, I had passion for Caps United. I still have passion for Caps United. So you still support Caps United? I do. <laughs> Let's go back to the picture that circulated on social media that day. It's the final game of the week. Yeah, I mean, of the season. All you needed was victory. Victory did not come. I remember speaking to you at the Soccer Stars of the Year Awards uh, the week before and saying, and you said, we will. And then it doesn't happen. Do you feel maybe not winning the league in that moment has also determined what happens to you and the rest of the players like I was on that WhatsApp group? Yeah, to, to a certain extent. I, I think it, it also contributes, you know, when the, the hopes of the institution is, is very high, that uh, we, we are almost there. We are almost uh, to, the, to the glory land. And things just turn suddenly and so change. Like, 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 like looking at your season, what are the moments that you think if we'd done this and this and this and this at this moment, we would have won the league? Yeah, I think we, 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 we could have read that. Uh, uh, games against Taiwan, against Yada, 
against uh, rentals. I think we, 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 we could have played our last two games we, with, uh, with a comfortable lead that uh, maybe it was going to be over before the league was over. You know, I think if we could have uh, got it right in those three matches, they were very crucial, you know, because it wasn't going to be easy to play Ngezi and FC Platinum the last two games. And a lot of your life, a lot of the important parts of your career have played out on social media. I talked about that picture, you know, the disappointment. I talked about social media circulating, uh, the fact that um, your contract wasn't renewed and you were told on the WhatsApp group. When you had your accident, we all, including me, found out through a very gory picture on social media. Take us through, obviously you were in pain, you were dealing with another thing, but when did you realize how fast your dilemma, your situation had circulated and how did it make you feel? I didn't even know at first. It took me maybe two weeks to know that uh, at the very moment that the accident happened, uh, it had already circulated on on the social media. And uh, it's it's something that was that was tough and painful for me as well, considering that the pain I was in and also the accident I was traumatized as well. So that to, to, to happen even to, to, to on social media for the family, the colleagues, the friends, you know, it was it was disturbing. And there have been a lot of <laughs> things that have popped out from that accident. Rumors over why did it happen? Where were you coming from? What was happening? How do you handle those rumors? Because you're going through a very difficult time. And then at the same time, people are making up stories to say, maybe I, my son, I got involved and all that stuff. How did you take that? And what was the true story? Yeah, obviously, everyone will just bring out his or her own story to try and make his or her side uh, the true story, you know. So those are only opinions of people and you cannot do anything about it. The only thing that you'll be able to do is to, to tell the, the, the real story of what really happened on the day. So it was on, on a Sunday and I was invited by a uh, vocal, commonly known as vocal in the, in the industry of music. And we grew up together in, in Bari. We went to the same primary school. So he invited me for his birthday uh, party at, at Malaysia Sports Club. So I, I went there. And when I decided now I had to, to leave and go home because I had gone to train in the afternoon. We had trained that Sunday. So on my way back home, I, I tried to, to, to negotiate on a cave after someone, a combi, tried to, to veer to my side by trying to avoid collision with it. That's when I went off the road. And that's, that's the last thing that I know. And how is it when you woke up and, I mean, part of your hand was like that? I only realized it a few minutes later, maybe 10, 15 minutes later, because at first, people were screaming and shouting, trying to pull me out of the car. And when I got out of the car, people were now scrambling to take stuff from the car. And someone took pictures, obviously, along the way. Yeah, the one did. that circulated, yeah. Yeah. I think the one that circulated the most about the hand, mm -hmm. it was taken at the hospital. Okay. And we don't want to dwell too much because obviously you've spoken a lot about your story. Yeah. I'm even getting all the way to BBC to keep talking about it. How has life changed? How do you think, you think your life would be the same if that moment hadn't happened? Do you look at it and think everything that happens in life happens for a reason? Yeah, obviously. Sometimes, yeah, you regret that uh, maybe if this has, had not happened, Maybe. Wind, uh, they yeah, can be... obviously, but sometimes you just have to be there for friends and family when when they need you, because sometimes when 
you get an invitation like that, it means that person needs you to be there. So it, it wouldn't be fair for you to turn down a friend or a family member or, or someone that you know because they will be given you some respect for you to invite, to be invited. So sometimes, yeah, I, I, I have regrets of, of certain things. And I, I also think that maybe if that wouldn't have happened, I'll be a different person. And um, as we go on through your story, your life, what's happening now, um, let's talk about the people that have pulled you through. From the moment that, that ex obviously that accident happened at a time when, you know, Warriors, you were part of it. Caps United, things were happening. And up until now, that you go through another difficult time where you're publicly having to deal with people knowing that you you were told you're not going to be, re your, your contract is not going to be renewed on a WhatsApp platform. Who are the people that you've depended on, who the people that have pulled you through? Yeah, a lot of people have uh, made me to pull through. Oh, first and foremost, my family has been amazing. They've been there for me 24-7. And also my, 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 my teammates, uh, even the, 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 the Caps United uh, presidents, Mr. Tutisani, Mr. Jerry, and the fans at large, the, the Caps United family, the fans, they've been there for me. Let's talk, let's talk about that Caps United family. I mean, <laughs> they're just a different sort of vibe. I, yeah, I remember yeah. when I emceed the Nyasham Shepi bus um, handover, and I just thought there is something about Caps United supporters. I mean, the way their connection with the players, their connection with the... And also even the platform that they're given. Because I know Caps United fans have these meetings where they can even call for Nigeria to say, come and address us, we've got issues that we have. How is it like for the players when you've got supporters that are like that? It, it means a lot uh, to players when you have fans that are hands-on like that, who cares for, for, for their players. And it's, it's, it's actually amazing. I've never been to a club or seen a club that has amazing, amazing supporters like Caps United. Amazing supporters like Caps United. And... Uh, Let's talk about uh, the story that is coming up in terms of uh, Energy Mdambadoro making his move to Chikenin, um, have a, as as a goalkeeper's coach. He was a legendary co co um, like goalkeeper at Caps United for the Warriors. Have you thought along those lines in terms of your career? Are you going to be involved in football after you hang the boots, or are you going a different direction? Yeah, I've I've been thinking to to continue to be in football and. Uh, I had started something uh, so that it can aid me my life after playing football. You know, there is life after playing a playing career, but there is nothing like life after football. Football <laughs> is, is an ongoing. <laughs> so, yeah, I've been thinking along those lines. You've been, you've, been, you've, you've played under Mark Harrison. Yes, at Caps United. So now yeah. he's at Highlanders. Was unveiled today. We were talking on the drive time. The fact that he says I'm not a normal. How do you think he'll fit at Highlanders? Yeah, Coach Mark Harrison is, is, is a great gaffer. He's, he's, he's seen a lot of uh, experience through his coaching career and, and also that he's a, he has coached in Zimbabwe for Caps United in the Harare City. It's, it's, it would be kind of easy for him to, 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 to adjust and adapt because you already know how how the Zimbabwean football in the league uh, operates. So I think you will you 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 will pull through. And talking about other moves, Dana was completing the signings of midfielder Juan Mutuza and Byron Mazzokere, and also they joined Anaya Patsonjaro, Timon Mbula, and Tanaka Chidumba, Lennox Mutsetse, and Kosi Mhlanga. And the Warriors captain Norwich Musona joining a Belgian league side AS Eupen on loan until the end of the season. After impressing the club during trials in Qatar last week, he joins us from Anderlecht. What is your take on this move? Is it a good move? A great move? Because Norwich has also gone through a really difficult time, especially during AFCON, where there was a lot of questions about should he still be in the team, despite all that he'd given to the national team. Yeah, I think it's a good move for him. You know, considering that at, at his former club he was not really playing and having game time, 
and so he, he needed somewhere where he can go and play regularly so i think it's it's, it's a good move for him and i i i wish him the very best because he, he he's, he's the skipper <laughs> Talking about skippers, international sport Harry Maguire has been named as the new Manchester United captain just five months after joining the club from Leicester City. Five months while club had you were all captain. I mean, if you were in that squad, what would you be thinking? Like, dude, five months. Like we've been here for longer. <laughs> yeah, I think it's it's about him. Maybe he's he's a, he's a respected guy. Maybe because not in 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 that team. Even them, they respect him from where he's coming from, for what he has done even for the national team. He's a senior player. He has grown and rise through, through the ranks. So, I think, yeah, it's, it's, it's something that is normal. <laughs> So let's look at other stories that are coming in South African Premiership action today. Stellenbosch take on Marokka, Marysburg United take on Amazulu. English Premier League fixtures on breakfast tomorrow in cricket. South African fast bowler Kakiso Rabada missing the fourth and final test against England next week for his celebration of Joe Root's wicket. So there's been a lot of uh, questions on social media. They think it's directly for that. But what happens in cricket is that when issues like this happen, there's a it's a level one breach and you accumulate one point. He's accumulated four demerit points in a two-month period so he's incurred an automatic one match ban and looking at the opening icc under 19 world cup match host south africa lost to afghanistan by seven wickets uh, south africa posted 129 after electing to bat a failed Af afghanistan successfully chased in 150 uh, with 150 balls remaining our under 19 team play bangladesh tomorrow in the third match in the se in the second match of the tournament uh, closing headlines are uh, because we have to go what is your parting shot with everything that's happened what does hard life want the nation to know yeah hard life directly is staying put you'll be in football uh you're still making a decision on uh, which side and which part of the field you'll be on and uh i'm i'm actually grateful for what caps united has done for me and i would like to thank them uh, a lot for what they have done. So that is Hard Life Jerry says he has no hard feelings. He will not regret his time at Caps United despite the fact that uh, he knew through a WhatsApp message that his services are no longer needed at Caps United, a team that is served 